Yo, what is up guys? We're back with a little bit of a special video. Basically in this video, I'm going to talk about a few of Jordans that I have in my rotation. This is obviously all opinion based. So it doesn't mean that these are the best Jordans or these are feel like are the best Jordans. It's just, I feel like a good color scheme is a lot of black, a lot of white uh, to have in your collection based on comfort, based on a lot of different things. We're going to get to five Jordans that I have in my collection that I really, really like in my rotation. So I'm going to show some clips during the video while I'm talking and stuff like that as well too. So we're going to get into probably one of the most beautiful ones right away these are the black cats guys timeless sneaker there's a rumored release on the sb black cat to be released sometime this year sometime next year it's a classic sneaker you got the entire new book on the body that big thick wide tongue that's not really seen on many jordans and this has just been a classic for me the reason the reason i love the black cats is because they are just the black uh, cats is because they're just a clean sneaker they're pure black they go really really nice with some blue deep denim which is a very very popular denim jean right now people are loving that whole kind Kind of baggy pants swag right now so what is better than a loose lace jordan to go with your baggy uh, baggy pants all black so really really low maintenance you don't got to do too much with it very very simplistic and also one of the most comfortable fours i actually own now let's get into the man so the next shoe is one of my babies i didn't know that i would love them this much but once i got them in hand i knew i couldn't let them go there's a few things about them that um i actually there's only one thing about them that i don't like which is the interior so on the inside here i really really like wearing black socks and I don't know if you guys see there's that pillin happening on the inside that I kind of don't like but it's on the inside so it doesn't matter mind you guys these are skateboarding uh, collaboration shoes as to be skateboarding so skateboard is designed this with in, in mind of, of the quality and the materials and the comfort and stuff like that little details like the rubber tongue in the back this beautiful plush tongue as well too the kind of suede on the sole for grip and the gum sole as well too so these are one of the most comfortable fours I've ever worn in my entire life life they are so 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 comfortable and when you lose some lace lose some lacy like the way that i do these are easily one of the best shoes uh that i actually have they feel like slip-ons they feel like slides when you go into them i don't even feel like i'm wearing them sometimes the leather is much more plush but it's very nice and and solid as well too so these are easily one of my favorite um fours in my collection and i could not even imagine the reason i did the first the first shoe was a black cat i could not even imagine having a black cat and an sb make a baby and come out as a sb black cat that would be beautiful so i'm really excited for that also a rumored release of the sb4 to be coming out of sapphire blue and potentially more colorways so we'll wait for that and we'll see what happens now, one of my recent favorites are actually the reimagined bread fours i know a lot of y'all gonna get on me for this the 2019s are obviously the classics you can't really undo it i mean <laughs> You can't really top those, but one con about the 2019s, as beautiful as they are, the upkeep is pretty, pretty, pretty heavy. You gotta, you gotta kind of take care of them a lot. And one thing is, is they crease pretty badly. Uh, so that's the only thing about the 2019s that I don't like. The thing that I love about these is that they're a complete leather body, as you guys can see. So these are just some beautiful, beautiful sneakers. You still get that exact same colorway, but now you have a complete, just thick leather body. So way, way, way more durability from these kicks, way more wear from these kicks you can wear these kicks pretty much every day if you really wanted to and the creasing is not that bad i've worn them a few times and you guys can see there's not even any creasing um i've noticed that when you wear them loose like this they don't crease as much in my opinion but these shoes guys let me tell you about the comfort they are pretty much on the exact same level as the sb pine green fours when it comes to comfort these are one of the most comfortable shoes that i have in my collection and when i wore them i'm like i gotta wear them again and again and again um just the tongue is the tongue is extremely plush which is such a big bonus because it rests really nicely on on uh, your on your foot as well as the interior is just really really nice it's an extremely comfortable shoe uh, there is a, re a reimagined cement 3 on the way apparently uh, but let me know what you guys think of these down below and let's get into the next so the gold metallic 4s are super super slept on cake that I feel like are gonna go over a lot of people's heads even though they are so so nice um, they look pretty much similar to the pure monies but they do not have the same grain leather it is more of a smooth kind of matte leather but those gold metallic accents as seen on the pure monies but with the silver is insane um they are a woman's release so you have to go up about a size and a half uh so if you're a size 11 get a 12.5 you're a size 10 get 11.5 you're a size 9 get a 10.5 um, but they are so so fresh man so comfortable as well too really really nice and fitting on the foot um one of the nicest releases in my opinion in in, in, in uh the last two two years when it comes to fours obviously you got the breads and the pine greens and there's 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 many many more guys but those are honestly gorgeous and they're not going to be 
too hefty. It's not going to be a hefty price tag. Um, they're really, really nice and they're very versatile and the durability. And the only thing I'm really worried about in terms of like wearing them a lot is the cage. But other than that, everything on the shoe is very easy to clean. And let's get into the next shoe. Now we got the Pure Monies. Uh, the Pure Monies are obviously more of a nostalgic shoe, a legendary shoe. Um, they weren't part of the Metallic Pack when the Metallic Pack came out, uh, but they were a legendary shoe. They are just beautiful, 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 and I absolutely love these. Um, I like the pure white, and to me, the silver accents or like the platinum accents are a little bit more toned down, so it's a little more versatile with a lot of fits. The gold accents, if you're more of a gold jewelry wearer or you have those gold kind of colorful accents, they'll make that stuff pop. But if you want to be just a little bit more low key, the pure monies definitely have that beautiful, beautiful, you know, silver accent, and the quality of the leather is beautiful it, it, it's crazy it's one of the best quality leathers i've seen on the aj4 and yeah guys without further ado let me know what you think about this five pair rotation of air jordans in my opinion guys i like i love you guys like comment subscribe and hit me up on instagram at pty16 and let's get into the next video got a lot of special content coming soon for y'all i love you guys so much